Hey everybody and welcome to another learning statistics with Jamovi video. In this one we're going to continue our look into some non-parametric tests. For this one, for this particular video, we are going to talk about the man Whitney U. The man Whitney U. This man Whitney U. <laughs> man Whitney U? You man Whitney? That kind of thing. Anyways, the man Whitney U test is a test of the differences between two means. So it's an independent samples t-test alternative, non-parametric alternative. So the U is the statistic. It's the letter U. OK, so we run an independent samples test, but here we're going to ask for the man Whitney U. OK, so there's a way that we do this in Jamovi. OK, I've opened up the data that we're going to use. This is from the awesome data set, the awesome data set from the LSJ hyphen data group. Right. Foxtrot and Foxcroft and Navarro, excuse me. OK, and we scroll down here and you can see man Whitney is awesome. So this is from chapter 11, comparing awesomeness of different groups. And we have 10 cases, 10 people. OK, and uh, five of them are in group A and five of them are in group B. And these are their scores. OK, it's a test of awesomeness. We are trying to figure out which group is awesome. OK, so these are scores on some test. OK, as long as there are no ties. So people with the exact same awesomeness scores, then the test is actually pretty simple. So let's do this in our um, Jamovi here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to t-tests and we're going to go to independent samples t-tests, not Bayesian. OK, and there it is, man Whitney you right there. OK, different from Welch's. Man Whitney U is a non-parametric. Welch is a parametric test that has a DF correction, bias correction. Man Whitney U is different from Welch's and T. So just be aware of that. So how do we do the Man Whitney U? Well, let's open up our awesome data from the Learning Statistics with Jamovi group. Okay. So the Man Whitney U is a interesting kind of test. You get its test statistic called U. Okay. U, or in Jamovi's case, it's just going to say the word statistic in the results here. Uh, and what uh, it's going to tell you is how many times a value in group A is bigger than a value in group B. If we were to plot all the A's as on the rows and all of the B's as columns, you tick each time, essentially, when A is larger than B. If we were to do this, we would find three values of A when compared to the values of B that are larger. OK, now that's a simple way to test for another statistic called W. OK. Now, U is calculated by Jamovi, so it's essentially the same thing, okay? How many times is A larger, than, how many times is group A larger than group B? So how do we do this in Jamovi? We go to independent samples t-test, okay, because it's two different groups. So of course you would go there. There's no special place for it in Jamovi. It's only a special statistic, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to uncheck students and we are going to um, check man Whitney, okay? And, um, you know, we can grab all of these other other things, too. It doesn't really matter. But what we're going to do is we're going to put scores independent variable and we're going to put grouping variables in grouping variable group. And what happens is you get that test statistic of three. U equals three. Look at that. There are three times that A is larger than B. And there you go. There's the test statistic, if I could say it. OK, then a P value of 0 0.056. Is it significant? No. Is it almost? Maybe. But it's not. It's higher than and you can't truncate that because that's a six. But it's higher than 0.05. So as I say, with this small sample of 10 people, almost A has more awesome people than group B. Slightly. A has slightly more awesome people than, than group B. Three times. Maybe three times? Hmm, maybe. But that's how you do man Whitney U. And that's essentially how you that's essentially how you compare to ordinal groups or groups that you've violated T, which is normality. Uh, and outliers. Okay. That is Man Whitney U in Jamovi. Please leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. Thanks for watching. Bye.